We called it Stormlight Archive RPG. Hooray! I'm useful! I'm having a wonderful time! Hey, if you want to make sure you always get the latest tabletop and fantasy news, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a character sheet update. Brandon Sanderson and Brotherwise Games have announced plans to publish a Stormlight Archive RPG, with a planned release date sometime in 2024. As of now, no other information is available about the game, including whether it will use an existing rule set like Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, or if it'll be some kind of brand new game system. Brotherwise Games is a new publisher to the tabletop RPG space, although co-founder Johnny O'Neill was a contributor to several Dragon magazines back in the early 2000s. O'Neill said during a live stream on Tuesday, that his company was in the process of hiring writers and editors to work on this brand new and frankly massive project. Assuming that Stormlight Archive RPG heads to Kickstarter, it will probably be a multi-million dollar project, and Brotherwise already has access to tons of art from their past Stormlight projects. Now, there will probably also be a robust tabletop combat component so that they can take advantage of all those miniatures that are currently being produced in Brotherwise's other multi-million dollar Kickstarter project, that is, the Stormlight Miniatures project that we've covered several times. Now, in case you haven't figured it out yet, we are big Stormlight Archive fans, so expect to hear a lot more about this new project over the next couple of years. I want it. Come on, give me it. Wizards of the Coast is encouraging teachers to use Dungeons and Dragons in the classroom. Wizards has teamed up with education company YMI to release several lesson plans that incorporate Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, the brand new D&D starter kit adventure. These lesson plans encourage kids to use their reading and writing skills through basic prompts that coincidentally teach kids about the basics of Dungeons and Dragons. These lessons plans are made for grades 4 and 6, along with grades 6 and 8, and are available for free on YMI's website. Additionally, Wizards is also giving away free after-school kits to schools, libraries, community centers, and other organizations like the Scouts, and those come with the new Dragons of Stormwreck Isle starter set. Now, these after-school kits are intended to help launch D&D clubs across the nation, following the example of Stranger Things Hellfire Club, only presumably without trips into the Upside Down. You belong here. Representatives of qualifying organizations can reach out to Wizards about getting free D&D material for their group. Now, you may have seen that there is a new Star Wars show covering the early days of the Rebellion. Unfortunately, there's not an active Star Wars RPG at the moment, although you may be able to find the Star Wars Edge of the Empire RPG. Uh, it is now back in print. Uh, so we're going to use the release of Andor to plug Going Rogue 2nd Edition, which coincidentally comes out today. Going Rogue is a diceless and GMless game by Jess Levine that puts players in the role of would-be martyrs in a space conflict, and those uh, would-be martyrs are preparing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Going Rogue includes five archetypes, each of which is inspired by a different Rogue One character. Throughout the game, players can use different moves that either generate tokens or spend them, and push the play towards certain storytelling beats. One key to going rogue is that the players know how the story ends when they start the campaign, thanks to the selection of a group fate, which frequently involves sacrifice. Not only does this provide some additional structure to the storytelling, which of course is kind of necessary because there's no GM, it also adds some uh, dramatic irony, as the players know from the start how the story ends, even as their characters may try to prevent their untimely demise. So if you like your space operas messy and morally gray, give Going Rogue a try today. Are you excited for the Stormlight Archive RPG? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.